Hi friends, it's Alyssa, the Berry Little Paper Crafter. Today I have this layered flipbook slash journal using junk mail envelopes. I have a very big tag in the main pocket there. It's actually two tags that I tied together with this little bow. And I love how you can see the little penguin through the window there. And let's open this up and see what I have inside. I included a little guest check um, that you can flip up. And I added some festive little stickers to it as well. On this side, I've got a vellum pocket filled with lots of different Christmas goodies. And next, I just paper clipped some tea dyed paper here along with some tags and maybe another journaling card. And for my last page here, I just left this part blank. Um, I was thinking maybe I'd put a photo there or just write another little journal entry, but there is a nice big pocket in the back. So you can stick tons of items in the back. And I mean, I just put a scrap paper I had and some other journaling paper as well. But obviously a lot more can fit inside. And then this is just a little ribbon that I glued to the edge there. And that's my back. I literally just used up the leftover scraps and glued them to the back there. So if you'd like to see how to make one of these layered flip books, then grab some junk mail envelopes. <laughs> and just keep watching and I'll show you how to make one. So I'm going to be using two junk mail envelopes today and you want one of them to be wider than the other, but the same height. Um, that'll just make it easier to make your little layered booklet here. So this one I have cut off the little lid and um, I cut open the sides as well so that I can just flip this open. And this one here, it has the lid on it, so I'm keeping that. And you don't necessarily need envelopes that have the windows, but most junk mail envelopes do have that little window there, so you can choose to utilize those if you would like. Um, this is going to be my last page here, and I'm basically going to be taking this envelope and gluing it to the little tab here. And then I'm just going to be adding one other sheet of just regular paper to make my layered effect. And everything's going to be glued onto the tab here. So I will first measure my envelopes. This one is four and an eighth by eight and a half. And this one here is about six and an eighth by eight and a half. So, When I cut out my paper for my second layer, I probably want it to be about five inches wide so that it has a nice layered effect. And I'm just going to be using this paper here. So we want it to be at least five inches across, but we're going to measure it out to be maybe five and a half inches because we're going to be creating a tab on the side so we can glue it down to our envelope. Um, so I'm going to cut this out to be about five and a half by eight and a half. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip this over just so you can see. I'm just going to score this now at half an inch. And this little half inch tab is what's going to be glued into our booklet. So let me just fold that down. And 
and show you. So there's our last page and this is going to be glued, I guess, right into this little envelope here. So see that little tab we made? That will be glued nicely right inside here. And then we'll just glue everything in like this. So now we'll have this nice layered effect. And that's pretty much how I'm gonna assemble this today. So now all that we really need to do is cover up these two envelopes. I'm just gonna use one sheet of paper to cover the whole thing. So for that, you will want an eight and a quarter by eight and a half inch piece of paper. And I will be using this one today. And you just wanna fold this right in half. You can score it right down the middle if you'd like, or just fold it. And so it's going to be glued right on top there. And I do want to cut out a little window here in my paper. So to do that, I'm just going to be lining this up as best I can. And then I'm just going to take a pencil here and go underneath my envelope and kind of just trace out the shape of this rectangle onto the back of my cardstock. Just so I know where to cut. And you can use your scissors to cut this out or you can use your paper trimmer. Obviously, it's not a perfect rectangle there and that's okay. You just want a rough idea of where you are going to be cutting. So, this out and now we've got our rectangle shape there and that way we can see through our envelope when we glue this down now it's okay if there are still parts of the envelope poking through or if your cut lines are not clean. That's okay because you can always add ribbon or trim to the edges here or even scrap paper that's cut into strips just to give it more of a clean finish. So don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and just glue this part down. So we have this all covered. Then I'm going to bring back my middle page and I'm just going to glue that in right now. So I will just put some glue on this half inch tab that we made and just fold that over inside of my envelope. So then we'll have something that looks like this. Don't glue this down yet. 
um, you can just put this aside and grab your last envelope to cover up. I'm gonna get a piece of paper that will be glued on from basically from the pink to the end. Um, so that is going to be a little more than five inches wide. And I'm just going to leave this white strip here because I'm gonna cover that up with some ribbon or maybe another scrap paper, we'll see. But um, for now, I'm gonna cut out a piece of paper that's a little more than five inches by eight and a half to cover this part up. So I think I'll use this one here. All right, so I'll glue this sheet down, leaving that white space there. And let me see if I have a ribbon. Maybe I'll glue this one down. Pop some glue along there. and put my ribbon right down. And I'm gonna let that dry before I cut off the ends there. Let's flip this over. So um, you see this window back here? I'm probably not going to keep that. I am gonna keep this pocket so that you can put stuff inside, but since this is gonna be the back of our book here, I just am gonna cover up this whole thing. This was left over and this was left over. So I don't know, maybe I'll just do something like that. Or it's kind of sad with just this little mitten <laughs> that I cut off. So maybe I'll just do something like this. So I'll glue this black paper down first. And we're not going to be gluing um, anything onto the tab because that will be covered up. So we don't need to glue anything onto that. And I'm just going to trim off any excess paper hanging over the edge, as well as my ribbon here. So there's our last page there. And now we can bring back this part and just glue this down. Let me just glue down first the lid of my envelope to the inside of this envelope here. And then I want to keep the top part here open so that I can slide something inside and we'll be able to see it through our window here. So I'm just going to glue along this edge and on the bottom here. Like 
that. And then this whole thing can be glued down. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. So now we can start decorating and putting our own touch on this. Um, let me see if this little scrap will fit inside. Perfect. So this was just the scrap left over from obviously my last envelope there. So I might just use this. I'm just going to quickly turn it into a tag maybe. So I'll just trim the corners off here. I have a little guest check over here too because I might attach that. I'm not really sure. So this part is pretty much going to be showing through my window here. So I might put a sticker on here just to add to this scenery. <laughs> um, and I might just cover up this <laughs> mitt in here, this sad little hand with another sticker. Just some other little stickers to make it cute. I'm just going to punch a hole at the top. Maybe I will stick this at the top. Yeah, you know what? I don't really want this sticker here then since <laughs> I'm gonna have this phrase at the top. So let me just put that aside for now. And I'm just gonna tie a little bow, actually. I do have these little bows too. And you know what? I might just attach this bow. And I'm just gonna slip one of these through both of my tags and just join the twisty ties together in the back and twist it off. like that and I think that's really cute to go inside my little pocket here another thing I might do is just put some washi tape down along the bottom here I might put just this sticker on the front and I'm going to attach it with foam tape. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do to the cover. And now we can work on the inside here. I will stick that guest check on this side. And I'm going to attach it with some glittery red washi tape. If 
if I can find where it starts. <laughs> I'm actually going to glue or add some extra glue to the back because it's kind of losing its stickiness. And I'll place it right there so it can be flipped up. Whoops, I guess I should let that dry. <laughs> I might use some vellum on this page. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my vellum sheet here and I am gonna score along the edges. a little pocket and I didn't really measure this at all I kind of just eyeballed it so it is smaller than my page which I don't mind And in my pocket, I'm going to put a Santa paper bag. And some tags. And then I think I'm just going to stick one of my tea dyed papers on here and it will fit perfectly. I think I'm gonna paper clip that onto here just so you can write on the front and the back. And then I'm also gonna add maybe some other things as well. This could just be like another journaling card. And I will just paper clip this whole thing onto this side. And this right here would be a great spot for a photo or even for writing a little note. Um, I might just leave it like this and I love this little scene down here with Santa and the gingerbread house so I'm probably just gonna leave that page but we do have this um, side pocket here in the back as well so you can put tons of things inside of there so you know more journaling cards photos um, even just like writing paper. I'm gonna have to fold it again because it's exactly as tall as my book here, but you get the idea. Um, all sorts of goodies can be placed inside this nice big pocket. And that's pretty much it for our little layered booklet slash journal here. I love how it came out. I'm obsessed with layers and I hope that you guys found some inspiration from this video. Let me know if you're going to make one in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you all in my next video. Happy crafting!